Good, good evening, everyone, and thank you for inviting me here today. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Congressman Bill Foster. I'm a scientist and a businessman, and it's my honor to represent the 11th Congressional District of Illinois in the U.S. House of Representatives, uh, a district that includes here. Uh, um, well, it includes actually the, the three largest cities, uh, the second largest cities of Illinois in the form of Naperville, Joliet, and Aurora. And I want to thank the American Multi-Ethnic Coalition for all the great work they're doing here in Naperville and throughout the Chicagoland area and to champion the rich diversity that makes this so unique. And it's very appropriate that we're having the 11th Annual Gala in the 11th Congressional District, so thank you for that. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce the Outstanding Physician of the Year 2021. Our awardee is an accomplished interventional radiologist, an educator, a writer, a philanthropist, a healthcare and technology thought leader, and a former resident of Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital. In fact, I believe we were at Harvard together, although I was a physicist and he was a physician. And Dr. Chopra is a healthcare disruptor, an industry leader, thank you, who is admired for his patient-centered care that focuses on restoring a patient's mind, body, and spirit. A founder, chairman, and CEO of the Midwest Institute for Minimally Invasive Therapies, PC, Dr. Chopra is a big advocate for women's health and has been helping treat uterine fibroids with non-invasive treatment and leveraging his skills and dedication. Dr. Chopra's philosophy is to provide cutting-edge health care to the most commonly, that is most commonly found in the university setting and bringing it to the communities that we reside in. Dr. Chopra is a renowned expert in his field and speaks nationally and internationally on various topics in interventional radiology, endovascular therapy, and healthcare management. Dr. Chopra is an active member of several professional societies, including the Society of Interventional Radiology, the Radiology Business Management Association, and the American Society of Physician Executives. Dr. Chopra has won many awards and honors, and the list is too long to recite here, and, but today, we're presenting him with the Outstanding Physician of the Year Award. So, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the most accomplished and outstanding physician of the year, Dr. Paramjeet Chopra. Thank you. Thank you. How cool is it to be introduced by a fellow Harvard uh, attendee, physicist, I would say, yeah. physicist, but he's obviously smarter than we are, of course, and, and to have a PhD congressman and to thank Don, uh, Congressman Danny K. Davis. Uh, I learned a long time ago that you may be one person in the world, but you can be the world to another person. I took that philosophy to say each patient that I treat, I want to be that problem solver and be the world to them so they can live their best lives in their body, their mind, their spirit. And I also learned that the secret to the many is the one. And as you start from that one, I started to develop an organization that would take that same principle and take it, and especially around Chicagoland right now, we're serving uh, all around Chicagoland to provide that philosophy of care. And our line is we put the care back in healthcare. Um, I'm really honored, humbled, and more than that, inspired to work even harder uh, to exceed the expectations of uh, this wonderful, diverse, uh, multi-ethnic uh, association that we have, uh, friends and colleagues from Emmet Health that are here. So thank you again, and uh, I'm really humbled, honored, and inspired. And let me just congratulate you, Doctor. You know, Physician of the Year, given what we are experiencing relative to health care and health care needs, we are indeed honored to have you with us. I'm also very pleased and delighted that my colleague from the United States House of Representatives, we call him the only rocket scientist in Congress because he does have the ability to help us understand the scientific elements of our world. 
And we hope that we don't have to recognize the damage that some of the bombs that people can make will do. So Bill, thank you so much for being with us this evening, and we really thank you for coming. Thank you.